Welcome to this week's Inside Track. I'm Illinois State Representative Brad Halbrook. I want to talk to you about one of the biggest issues threatening Illinois' future, our massive pension crisis. It's the issue that politicians in Springfield refuse to address, but it's the one that we must tackle head-on if we want Illinois to thrive. The numbers don't lie. According to the latest report from Fitch Ratings, Illinois has the largest pension shortfall in the nation, $172 billion. That's not just the biggest, but it is also it makes Illinois the worst outlier in the country. To put it into perspective, Indiana's shortfall is $11 billion. Wisconsin's just $4 billion. Illinois' pension debt is more than 40 times larger than Iowa's $2 billion gap. This staggering debt isn't just a number. It's a burden crushing Illinois' family. Property taxes here are the highest in the nation. Home values haven't kept pace with inflation since 2000, ranking Illinois dead last in housing performance. Over the last past two decades, more than one and a half million residents have fled the state, leaving behind their communities, friends, and families. This exodus is largely, largely fueled by the cost of funding our unsustainable pension system. Here's the grim reality. Illinois' pension debt is equal to nearly 20% of the state's economy, the highest percentage in the nation. Compare that to Michigan, Wisconsin, or Iowa, where pension debts account for just 1% of their economies. While our neighbors are growing, Illinois is being strangled by pension costs, which rob funding from essential services and force taxes ever higher. How did we get here? Politicians from both parties are to blame. For decades, they've handed out pension benefits faster than taxpayers could pay for them, sweetening deals with unsustainable perks like compounded cost of living adjustments. Even as the costs grew worse, lawmakers ignored the warning signs. Between 2005 and 2009, Illinois was charged with the securities fraud by the SEC for misleading bond investors about the pension funding practices. Despite this, Governor Pritzker and his allies refused to act. Pritzker himself has dismissed pension reform as a fantasy. Why? Because reform would mean standing up to the powerful public sector unions that the very groups that keep his party's supermajority in power. Illinoisans deserve better. It's time for a constitutional amendment that allows for real pension reform. This is not just a fiscal issue, it's a moral issue. Every dollar wasted on our broken pension system is a dollar stolen from our schools, our roads, and our communities. The choice is clear. Either we continue to let politicians ignore this crisis while families suffer, or we demand action. If lawmakers won't back pension reform, they should be booted from office. The stakes are too high to allow for more inaction. I'm here to fight for Illinois families and to push for reforms that secure our state's future. Together, we can end this crisis and build a stronger, more prosperous Illinois. I want to thank Ted Dabrowski and John Klinger at wirepoints.com for collecting and pulling together all of this data. Thanks for watching. As always, stay informed and involved. I hope this information is helpful and I want to hear from you. I want your feedback. Please leave your comments and suggestions on this topic and other topics for future discussions. Your feedback is vital. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe to my channels, and hit the notifications bell to stay up to date. Thank you.